What's going on everyone? Thanks for checking out another of my videos. Today we're at the International Sports Expo in Sacramento. Plan is to stop by some of the booths who support my channel, reveal the new boat I'm getting, and stop by some booths that catch my eye and see what's going on with them. Well, let's get started. Already get some people walking up and saying hi. It's really cool to see all people who are watching the channel. Really good positive energy, I love it. So uh, the first place we're looking for, uh, what's up, man? I follow your YouTube button. <laughs> Thank you. Big fan, man. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Man, I'm telling you, the love, it's nice. All right, so first thing, we're gonna go find the Promar people. Look for uh, blue hoop nests, then we should find them, right? Love myself some free jerky samples. We'll do that in a little bit. The gaffs I use. What's up? Hey, how you doing, man? Good. Good, Good to see, to see you. you. You too. Love the show. Just walked in. Cool. I'm gonna throw it on. Yeah, thank you. So just got this uh, new bait net. My last one, the kids fell. In, it fell in the water. This one floats. So if it falls in the water, we're gonna be able to get it back this time. Hey, Chris. Yeah. Good to see you. Long time subscriber. Appreciate it. Thank you. Good to see you. Hey man, I love your videos. Thank you. Yeah. You guys are looking to get a net for uh, the halibut fishing coming up. You know, when you get the undersized ones and you're gonna net them and they're close, you wanna get a rubber net, one that doesn't you know hurt the fish, rip their fins as much. That's what this one is, the landing net. So it's rubber coated, feels really nice. And a lot of the times, the ones that have the rubber, they're smaller for like lake fishing. This one's real big. I mean, you could, you could land a uh, big halibut in this one. So these are some of the different products that uh, Promar has. Have you guys seen these lights before? I haven't used them, but I've seen them in a, an old like Angler West video, you guys are familiar with what he does. They're fishing in Alaska in hundreds of feet of water and putting those on their baits for halibut and link cod. Once they uh, touch the water, they light up. When you take pull them out of the water, they turn off. These things always crack me up for albacore and they work real good, the cedar plug. Here's the cast that I was trying to use in that last video. This one's a five foot. It'd be a little easier to throw than my six foot. What's this one used for exactly? Uh, like making bait off of piers and stuff. So it's kind of like a cast set in a way? Uh, it's, it's more like an like umbrella that you drop it down, maybe sink it about a foot or two oh, in the water. Oh, then you pull it up. Yeah, then you pull it up. When, when the bait swims over, you just pull it up. Oh, nice. Some guys drop it and sprinkle like breadcrumbs. Yeah. You get the bait coming over, then you pull it up. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and to the next booth now, but I'm going to check out Promar Ahi. Great accessories for nets, gaffs, different types of baits. You can get all this stuff on their website if you don't make it to the show. All right, thanks, Andy. Yeah, man, thanks, Chris. Appreciate it. We visited like four hatcheries this year. Yeah. <laughs> hey, this, the hey, this is the guy I was talking about. <laughs> the hatcheries weren't, weren't bad this year. They, according to Fish and Game, we're not even going to get to fish for until 2026. That's what you heard? That's just everybody talking. No. I have the old black one. Right, so John, these aren't nothing to do with Scotty. Uh, John Fortella. So you make the JJ Bombers, right? Yeah. yeah. He, he built what, what, uh, what kind of fish do you catch with them? Striped bass in the area? Striped bass or black bass. Yeah. There are surface lures. Lure. There are glide bait. Glide bait. Glide bait. So you can so you'd cast glide. them and retrieve them then? Yeah, like walking the dog. Cool, cool. You cast it out there. 
Yeah. Let it sit for a little bit. Okay. And just twitch it. We'll twitch it. Tie directly to it. And it works better with braid. Okay. And just twitch it. You know, move a little bit and let it sit. And then just bring it in like this. It's going to chug and go side to side on it. Is there a time of year that they work better? Well, I think they work good in the, the springtime. Springtime? Anytime you get in the grass, a cloudy day. Okay. Two to three feet of water is excellent. Nice. In so shallower evening, water. Shallow water, early evening. Yeah. Hey, I recognize this gentleman from you the YouTube shows yes. out there. Got John? His, Chris. Nice to meet you, Chris. Fine, I want to your shows and stuff. Appreciate so. that. Thank you. Yeah. All right, guys. So we're here at the Scotty booth today, and I found my buddy, Jim from Real Custom hey Boat Works. He's at the Scotty booth right now because he does uh, warranty repair work for Scotty and also sells their products. So someone has an issue with what, a downrigger, crap puller? Yeah, we do all the warranty work, all the service work. Uh, you know, we do maintenance on them. And, you know, preventative maintenance is probably the best thing you can do for your downrigger, especially if you're in the salt water. So like every year, get it serviced? Every year if you're in the salt water, every couple of years if you're a freshwater fisherman. Yeah. Nice, okay. So yeah, Jim's gonna be doing uh, all the installation of my electronics on my new boat here. Um, so he helped me pick out some really cool gear. We got some Garmin coming, right? Got Garmin coming, yeah. I sell Garmin, I sell Humminbird and Lawrence as well, but we have Garmin coming for your boat, yeah. So we're doing like screen, um, radar, autopilot. Gonna get the boat pretty tricked out, and thanks to this guy, um, the live wells. Yep. What else do you do? I mean, lots of stuff. Pretty much at the shop, yeah, we do everything. We do Houdat towers, so we put towers, towers on boats. Towers, right, on boats. Um, we do all the electronics, lights, like you said, the radars, um, all the varieties of different electronic companies. And then we sell some different rod, I mean, rod equipment. I do have tackle at the shop. But. Yeah, so he has different, um, like, rod holders, rail systems. So if you're looking for something like that. But also, uh, fishing equipment, rods, reels, those Promar hoop nets you just saw. He'll get stuff like that, so. Definitely hit up Jim, I'll have his contact inf information below. And um, you wanted to go show me some new rod holders? Yes, we're gonna walk over to Trax Tech and take a look. All right, so uh, yeah, we'll see you at the next booth here. Hey Chris, how you hey. doing? My name's Ed. Hey Ed. We always uh, see this guy to fix our boat. <laughs> <laughs> we always see you on YouTube also. Oh, I'm glad you guys are here. The other guy, the ball the guy. And the other guy in the black shirt, the blue shirt, and he's the guy from Trax. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. All right, so I got Jeff from Trax Tech here. So what exactly do you make? Hey, so we make a fully adjustable uh, track mounting system. So the tracks are designed to mount down to the gunnel of the boat. We actually have six different mounting applications. So our track can mount down. If you don't uh, have room to mount a track on a wall, it's three and a half inches wide. We make from six inches to six feet long are our standard tracks. Or we have, if you have a lot of boats here, have rails on them. So we do have a rail clamping system that will allow us to clamp the rod holders individually. Or we can have individual clamps that allow long tracks to mount right down on top of your rail and then that gives you the flexibility to run like live scope systems for running uh, Garmin live scopes and Humminbird Lorance off there, tool holders, beverage holders, all the individual rod holders on here. Our downrigger mounts are over here so we make our own digital downrigger system on here. Uh, any of the mounts for Canon, Scotties, any of those products on there. We make the hoop holders now for when you're crab pot fishing that you bring that up, lock right into there and we can have, hold the hold the hoops for us on there. Uh, we can't just introduced our brand new this year uh, fully adjustable all aluminum cradle style rod holders. So this can come right down inside the boat, be inside the boat. Your rod reel sits inside. Well, your uh, reel in the fish in, so it keeps your reel orientated and you can sit right down here and crank that fish in right inside the cradle. And then a lot of guys want to get the whole rod and reel over the side. So we, that's why we have different lengths on this, Chris. We can turn this adjust these and get these things right out the side and then our dovetail system allows us to get seven more inches of travel on the actual dovetail itself so you can see this one's to the beginning and that one's to the end so and that's why we got different heights on there lots of pivoting action so and our hook system keeps the whole rod and reel locked right into place the butt of the rod goes up against here so the harder you pull on it it locks it in and it can't come out of there really so, cool kind of that deal 
we do uh, rod storage racks, net holders, the gap holders. So this year we went to a larger, a larger uh, tube diameter, so we can hold on to these larger gaps for you guys on there, and larger net holders with butts on there. We do large beverage holders in there to fit Gatorade bottles. All our Yeti cups and everything fit right inside there. Um, planter board caddies for guys that want to do some stuff that uh, really is inline planter board is popular by us. So. A lot of people out here actually knew about it today, so it was kind of neat. So we'll run planter board systems to get them baits away from the sides of the boat, you know, and get them out into the water. So especially when you run a lot of your inland lake fishing and stuff like that. Uh, landlocked salmon or striper fishing, that's what we're popular doing, that type of setup too on there. So just kind of showing you, we make uh, mounts for running uh, barbecue grills on here, cutting boards on here, slide it all in, have bait cutting boards on the setup. So um, camera mounts, you know. <laughs> Just the different things. You guys sure thought of it all, it looks like. We try, we try. Been doing it for 28 years. Everything we make has lifetime warranty on it. So it's been really good. We've been doing it a long time. We actively fish. I always help guys design and lay out their whole boat setup on there. We build all the arches too for different guys. So those are king fishers we do. Um, Thunder jets down here we do back at home a lot. Um, just kind of shows you how we do the crab pop holders on the break fishing right here. So and you can mount the track on like Bob's boat. He's got the trolling bars down the side and we put the track on there horizontally so we can actually tilt stuff up and down and learn to use everything on your whole boat. So just a lot of features. So, so you would help people outfit their boat, it sounds like? They could send you an email or absolutely. something with what they have and maybe give you some options? Correct. We do that all day. Got a full crew that helps them do all that. And if they need help, then they'll come to me because I've actually rigged them and done everything for 28 years. So, yeah. yep. Well, thank you so much for showing me this. Hey, I appreciate it, Chris. Right. Thanks a lot. Five to one. So you just five to one. Anybody else? Seven to one. That's my man right there. <laughs> so. Hey. What's up, Brad? Okay, good. Yeah, hey, how are you doing? <laughs> good, yourself? Good, good to see you. Yeah, you too. Yeah, you having fun so far? Yeah, yeah. it's cool to get out here. All right, guys, so we're here at uh, the Boat Country booth now. So I think it's time to announce the boat that I'm getting. I got it from Boat Country. So if you guys know, it's a North River, and it's going to be a 25-foot hardtop, 2024, getting a 250-horsepower uh, Honda on it. And I want to introduce you guys to Brent here. So Brent's one who helped me pick out the boat. We went through all the details on all the different ways to configure the boat. So really looking forward to getting it. I think it's coming to end of March. Yep, it's in production now at the factory and uh, happy to be part of uh, helping you upgrade from your current North River to, uh, to a new 24 hardtop. Thank you, so. yeah, I'm really excited about it. I recently just got some pictures I'll show you here of uh, the boat being in production right now. So yeah, if people are interested in upgrading their boat or getting a new boat, you'd be a great person to contact. Yeah, we're an exclusive dealer for North River Boats in California. Um, been around for uh, 30 years. Uh, this this coming year, uh, March will be our anniversary. Um, and stock a full line of the North River product from 18 foot to, to 27. Um, and then, you know, a couple other fishing boat brands, uh, Hughes Craft and Press Liner Boats as well. Nice. So yeah, you guys are in the Central Valley? Yeah, in, in Ripon. So about an hour south of Sacramento, an hour and a half east of uh, San Francisco. Right. So yeah, if you guys are you know looking to upgrade your boat or get a new one, like I said, make sure you check out Boat Country and see what they have. So we're going to walk outside right now and uh, see some North River boats? Yep, let's see our, our other booth at the ISC show. Unfortunately, the one I'm getting is not here, but we'll have some that look similar. <laughs> You guys check out this new motor from Honda, 350 horsepower. Should I get that on the new boat? All right, well, we're just out here checking out the North River boats they have on display. Remember, all these are uh, for sale by Boat Country. So this is a 22-foot Seahawk. So mine will be three feet longer, which all that extra three feet of space is going to be the uh, fishing area here, fishing deck. And then I'll have a door and a second helm.
This is their big offshore, 25 foot. So my boat will be this size, but not quite as beefy and big. I'll have a second helm on it back here though. That'll be pretty cool. And I won't have dual motors, just one 250. So we got uh, Chris from North River here. Hey, how you guys doing? So uh, pretty soon here, when we get closer to getting the boat, I'm gonna go up and do a factory tour and be by him here. And uh, he was mentioning, if you guys are ever in the area, in uh, Rosenberg. Roseburg. Roseburg. You can call it Rosenberg, I guess. <laughs> it's redneck, but yeah, Roseburg, Oregon. Roseburg, uh, Oregon. Give me a call. My name's Chris. We'll give you a factory tour, let you see all the options and standard boats that we have available. Many paint colors that we have to choose from. And Chris's boats right now, I think he's getting ready to go to paint. And it's a 25 hardtop. So we look forward to him getting his boat and doing more videos. Yeah, so uh, we'll be going up there for that factory tour soon. Pretty excited to see what's going on up there. And like you said, you guys are welcome to go check it out too. All right, let's go ahead back inside now. Hello. How are you? Good, yourself? I'm doing well. Wait, yeah, I just came by asking about you. Yeah. Did they? Oh, yeah, you feel like All right, well, we're here at the Akuma booth now. You guys know I've been using their rods and reels exclusively for the last few years. Really happy with their products and I've used them again this year. I'm sure most of you are familiar with the Akuma brand, but they make rods and reels for both saltwater and freshwater, big assortment, a lot of different price ranges. And all great quality. Here's the Komodo that I use for my halibut fishing. A lot of different sizes for whatever your needs are. Line counter reels. A lot of rods and reels, same freshwater, saltwater. Pretty much anything you're looking for, they're gonna have it. So one of my first questions when I showed up today was, hey, for bluefin tuna next year, when I wanna cast at it with a spinning reel, what should I use? This is what they recommended. So I'm gonna have to get myself one of these. And if you're looking to uh, cast into some boiling bluefin, check out this reel. And the rod we're going to want to pair that with is going to be this one right here. The PCHP You guys remember that one time last year with the, on the D&D &D boat when we came up to all those boiling tuna? I'll roll the clip right here. Just a dream opportunity. Wish I had that rod and reel to uh, cast a bait onto it. But that's gonna be the goal next year is catch a bluefin on a spinning reel. So this is one of their partner companies, Fish Lab. These are the bags I've been using, really nice bags. This is a great traveling bag or whatever you wanna do with it. Looks like two different sizes. It has rollers, straps. And let's see if we open up inside. I think they come with some trays and whatnot. Yeah, so it comes with all of these. They also make the backpack style. And then here's the uh, baits from Fish Lab. These would work good for uh, halibut, rockfish, and then Possibly something like this is what we'll throw at the uh, bluefin tuna. Keep it up, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. That's a big one, huh? Oh, I know. You inspired me with your bluefin kit. So I'm here with Dave Brown from Akuma, checking out some of their reels over here. Of course, you guys are familiar with the Makairos that I've been using. And then I saw this guy, this Solterra, and I want him to tell me a little more about it. Yeah, these things are awesome. This is actually the Solterra SLX. This is the third generation. So you're gonna see SLXB. They're a graphite lever drag reel that have either a level wind on them or an open top. They're gonna come in a single speed or a two speed. And they're just like the Makairo. They actually have got two thrust bearings inside. 
So what the thrust bearing does is it's got a pull bar drag system. So when you button down that drag, it pulls everything to the right hand side or to the handle side. And with that thrust bearing, you don't get any kind of side load. You have that with the Makaira, you've got that with the Alijos reels, and now you have that with the Solterra SLX reels. Phenomenal reel. It's a carbon fiber body, so it's gonna be nice and light, and the price point is perfect. They're about half the price of a regular Makaira. A lot of guys are out there killing a lot of big tuna with these guys. They come from a size 10 all the way up to a 50 wide, like I said, single speed, two speed. You got level wine, you got non-level wine. Great little reels, but yeah, check them out. They're awesome. And they got a really loud clicker. That's one thing a lot of guys really like about these reels. So if you're trolling, you got that going behind you with some Mad Max, they're loud, you're gonna hear it from the cockpit. Nice, so yeah, if you guys don't have the Makaira in the budget, definitely check out that one. What's up, man? Good. Good yourself? Good. Good to see ya. Yeah. We stopped by here at uh, Dirty Customs. Got Dan. Hey. You the owner of the company? Yes, sir. So he custom makes all these gaffs himself. It's got like this one right here. You can get your boat name on it or whatever you would like. Really nice work. Super solid. Get you through the year. Looks ain't, like it. Ain't gonna go wrong on you. So. so you have gaffs, and then it looks like you do like pliers and cutters. Yeah, this is what I have for the show. Um, if you contact me, I got price list of everything I build um, from bait nets, uh, nice. tuna spikes, different types of gaffs, different types of hooks, um, all your pliers. I do make uh, handmade sheets. Out of leather that I do myself, um, sweaters, t-shirts, you know. All right, so if you guys are interested, you can hit up on Instagram. And there's the contact. <laughs> Look who it is, family fish killer. <laughs> All right, well, that was a really fun show. Uh, met some great people. So nice of the people who stopped by and said hi. Love meeting the subscribers from the channel. Um, and I got Jim here again. We forgot to mention something. He has some events coming up at his uh, property there. I do. I've got a uh, full six pack captain's course coming February 5th. It'll be held in Lodi. Uh, so if you have any interest, get a hold of me or get a hold of Chris and get a hold of me and let me know. And then on February 24th, we're going to hold a U.S. Coast Guard vessel inspection uh, out at the shop and Chris will provide you with the address, but it'll be 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Uh, bring the boat in, get it inspected, get your sticker for the 2024 season. We'll have a sale in the, sh in the store and just kind of- Great. Help. I had a video of doing that last year, actually exactly like a year ago. So you can look back at that one to see what the inspection's like and prepare for it. Um, and then I'll have all the contact information for uh, you in uh, the description. Perfect. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video out here. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. We'll catch you on the next one. All right, later, guys.